Today we are learning how to round a whole number to any place value. Let's say you're asked to round 1,375 to the nearest hundred. Well, let's look at this number. We're rounding to the nearest hundreds place, so I will circle the digit in the hundreds place. Then I look next door at this 7. I ask myself, is this 7 4 or less, or is it 5 or more? Well, 7 is 5 or more. When I have a number that's 5 or more, I'm going to add 1 to my circled place value. So that 3 is going to become a 4. And then the numbers after it, the 7 and the 5, those are going to turn into zeros. So if you round 1,375 to the nearest 100, your answer is 1,400. Now we're going to solve this exact same problem one more time but we're going to compare it to what happens when we round 1,325 to the nearest hundred. Well, in both of these problems, we're rounding to the hundreds place. So we circle the digit in the hundreds place. Then we look next door. On the left, I have a seven, and on the right, I have a two. So we're going to ask ourselves, are these digits four or less, or five or more? In 1,375, the seven is five or more. But in 1,325, the 2 is 4 or less. We saw before that when you have 5 or more, like we do on the left side, you add 1 to your circle digit, so that 3 turns into a 4, and then the numbers after it turn into zeros. The answer is 1,400. But on the right side, we have 4 or less, so we are not going to do anything to our circled number, but we'll turn everything after it the 2 and the 5, into zeros. Now here are our two answers so you can compare what we did. Let's practice one of these together. Let's round 14,682 to the nearest thousand. Well, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. What digit is in the thousands place? The 4 is in the thousands place. Then we look next door at this 6. We ask ourselves, is 6 4 or less? or 5 or more. 6 is 5 or more. So what should we do to our number? When you have 5 or more, you have to add 1 to the circle digit. So that 4 is going to turn into a 5. And then everything after it turns into zeros. 14,682 rounded to the nearest thousand is 15,000. Now here's another problem to practice with. We're going to round 26,354 to the nearest 10. Well, what digit is in the tens place? I can see that the 5 is in the tens place. So what should I ask myself next? Remember that we look next door. We'll look at this 4. And we ask ourselves, is 4 4 or less or 5 or more? Well, you can see that 4 is 4 or less. So what should I do to my 5 that I've circled? Because it's 4 or less, we're not going to do anything, and we can just turn every digit after the 5 into a 0. Our answer is that 26,354 to the nearest 10 is 26,350. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Round 8,612 to the nearest 100. Well, we're rounding to the nearest hundred, so we'll circle our hundreds place. Then we look next door at this one. The one, we ask, is it four or less, or five or more? Well, a one is four or less, so we don't have to do anything to our six that's circled, but we turn everything after it into zeros. 8,612 rounded to the nearest hundred is 8,600. Now, here's your last problem for this video. We're going to round 37,625 to the nearest 10,000. Well, we can see that this 3 is in our 10,000s place. Then you look next door. This 7, we ask, is it 4 or less, or 5 or more? 7 is 5 or more, so we need to add 1 to that 3. It becomes a 4, and everything after it turns into zeros. 37,625 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 40,000. Today you learned how to round a whole number to any place value.